Hi, my name is Andrea from SenseFly. In this tutorial, I show you how to plan and fly a mission with the EBX and the Duet M camera. The Dual Sensor Duet M features an RGB camera and a multispectral camera in one. This makes it the optimal tool for efficient data collection. Before installing your Duet M into your EBX, make sure you have both SD cards inserted. One SD card is inside the SenseFly Soda camera part of the Duet M here on the side and the other SD card is inside the sunshine sensor as part of the Parrot Sequoia Plus. Now make sure that your EBX is not connected to a ground station or is powered on by a battery. To install just connect the connection cable of the camera inside the payload bay of the EBX and then plug in the camera make sure that both buttons pop up all the way. To plan a flight with your EBX and the Duet M, open Emotion and select the Duet M camera on the welcome screen. Create a mission, select the mission block, either horizontal mapping or horizontal mapping from file and draw the outline of the block onto your map. Right click to close the block adjust the flight lines to make the flight efficient over the block and then adjust the parameters for resolution and overlap. These parameters are adjusted for the multispectral camera. So by adjusting your resolution for the multispectral camera, automatically the parameters for the RGB camera are adjusted. Same accounts for the overlap settings. Just before the flight, you have the option to use the reflectance calibration target in order to calibrate your data. Once you're ready to take off, it's indicated on the drone by a green light on the status light of the EV and a yellow light on the camera. After the flight, remove the SD card from the sunshine sensor. This is the SD card where all the multispectral and RGB images are saved on as well as the flight log. Use this for importing the data into your ground station. In Emotion, click on Post Flight, which opens the Flight Data Manager. Here, select the flight and specify the project and the project folder location, and then follow all the steps required to do to complete the importation of the data. Thank you for watching. For further information, don't hesitate to go to the knowledge base on My SenseFly or directly on SenseFly Academy for more tips and tricks.